Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I want to talk about upcoming shooters that are certainly going to make waves in the competitive gaming world. This is both for console and PC. And without a doubt, the first game here is Battlefield Hardline. There's simply no ignoring this game, whether or not you're happy about the fact that Battlefield is doing a policed themed game. Uh, this is going to be a huge title. Lots of people are going to play it, myself included. It's already shaping up pretty well in the beta. I'm fairly impressed with it so far. And they've actually delayed the launch of the game significantly because they have a lot of things that they want to do to it to try and make it a bigger departure from the traditional Battlefield game and much more about the actual police theme. Now something that has really excited me about this title is the fact that Visceral is really taking a lot of liberties with it, not feeling like they have to make it very very similar to every other Battlefield game in the past. They're changing up a lot of the classes pretty drastically. They're shifting the focus from vehicles to infantry in a lot of the situations here. And they're just kind of rebalancing and retweaking the way that a lot of the micro mechanics in the game works. And this is something that the franchise has not done in a long time. And I think they're really going to be able to fix a lot of key balance issues. Now we're taking a look at Rainbow Six Siege, a game that's slated to come out in 2015. And this game looks like it's going to give Counter-Strike a run for its money. We've got a hostage rescue situation here in just a simple house, but everything looks destructible. The destruction in this game looks far beyond anything that I've seen in any game to date. And it's going to be amazing provided it actually plays out the way that they've been showing off in some of the live gameplay demos. The multiplayer is really focusing on a 5v5 combat situation with a huge emphasis on teamwork. You'll notice that timed breaching and using the guy with the riot shield as cover is a big part of the strategies in this game. I really like that the game has not focused on a massive scale battle, but rather very small room breaching and room clearing tactics here. I think it's going to be really fun to watch competitively and a hell of a lot of fun to play. I can't wait to see the other types of maps that are going to be available in this game. Perhaps a bank or something like that with a hostage situation could be really intense and really awesome to watch the SWAT team try and breach through entire walls. Unfortunately, it could be a while before we're actually playing this game. On the other hand, there are some other titles out there such as Destiny, which are coming out very soon, the 9th of next month to be precise and I cannot wait to play this game. I know it's console only, which is really disappointing for PC fanatics like myself, but I will still be playing this game on console. It looks that good. The competitive element to this game is going to be something that we've never really seen before because it's combining a lot of classes and subclasses with items that you can get in single player and even multiplayer to sort of form extremely good classes at very specific things. So it's going to be really interesting to see the different types of play styles that emerge. It's very similar to Borderlands in a lot of ways except the massive focus on multiplayer and the fact that this game has already had a record-breaking number of pre-orders just shows you that it's probably going to get bigger than the actual Call of Duty franchise on its very first title, which is pretty much unheard of. Plus, you get a really rich backstory of cool lore integrated into the multiplayer. Haven't really seen much of that since essentially Halo. And speaking of Halo, we're getting a Master Chief collection, which comes with basically Halo 2 completely revamped and upgraded with graphics and the multiplayer is coming back. And a lot of people think that the Halo 2 multiplayer was one of the best Halo multiplayers available. And this is basically going to be a massive, massive hit on Xbox One. Halo has been just such a good arena style shooter for the console system. And I can't wait to see it make a massive comeback on the next gen consoles. Personally, it's making me want to buy an Xbox One just so I can buy the Master Chief Collection. And it seems kind of funny, but it looks like Halo may in fact actually essentially launch or relaunch the Xbox One console as it did to the original Xbox. And uh, Xbox has been kind of trailing the PS4 sales, the Wii sales hasn't been doing so well, but I have a feeling that Master Chief is really going to bring it back into the game. And speaking of relaunching, Planet Side 2 is coming to the PS4 very soon. This is actually very exciting because it's going to be a free-to-play title on the PS4 
and it's a very quality shooter that has been optimized extremely well for the PS4. I saw some gameplay at E3 of this game on the PlayStation 4 and graphically, in my opinion, it looks way better than the PC. It's been optimized really well so the frame rate is nice and solid and it's a huge game. It is a massive game, probably the biggest scale first person shooter available for any console. I, I mean, I believe it's the biggest scale first person shooter available for the PC as well. So this should be a huge, huge hit and I'm really excited. I think I'm actually gonna try playing it a bit on console because frankly, the PC optimization is so bad that I can't wait to see what they've actually done with the PS4 hardware. And lastly, we have Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, the next big title in the Call of Duty franchise. And this has got exosuits jumping around, moving quickly. We've all seen the trailers. We all know what it's about. It's pretty much guaranteed going to be a huge success already. They've gotten pretty good at analyzing the amount of sales that a game's gonna have based on its pre-sales. And Call of Duty is going to be one of the year's biggest hits. Whether you like the game or not, it is statistically one of the biggest competitive shooters right now. There's still lots of cash prize tournaments going on for the Call of Duty franchise, and this one has got a plethora of multiplayer modes and different ways to play the game, so I'm sure people are going to find a really cool way to set this game up for tournaments. It's nice to see the franchise taking a few risks here, especially with the exosuits and jetpacks. It'll be fun to see if it actually catches on or if people go back to the classic game mode without any of the special abilities. So which shooters are you guys looking forward to? Let me know in the comments and let me know if I missed any games that you guys are really excited about for competitive first person shooter multiplayer. As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.